What's up guys, we're here today. We're going over the Demon Hunter. The patch notes for the PTR just dropped and I wanted to go over the Impale build because it may be the best Demon Hunter build in the game. It's absolutely crazy. It's just first impressions, but it's insane. The new Demon Hunter uh, update is Strafe, the updated base skill to allow any equipped item rather than requiring a bow, which means we can equip the Carly's Point and do this entire uh, shadow mantle build so we're just going to go through i put a build together roughly real quick we're going to go in and do a gr 90 i was crushing it with 90s but we might do an 100 real quick we can't even we're going to do a 90 because that's all we have i'm going to showcase the build for you and then we are going to go over everything that i have equipped for the build so let's do this you guys can see that we are just slicing through absolutely everything right now I mean, this is a GR90, and again... Ooh, oh my god, we almost died. That would have been bad for the video. So you guys can see that we... Again, most of the videos that we do for these, I have low gear, low paragon, and we are just, like, doing this with the most basic stuff as possible, so that way you guys can see, like, when you're building into the new season. Once you get the gear, you don't have to have, like, crazy paragon levels or anything like that to, like, play the build. And... Oh, we have our follower, though. You gotta... almost died again. But you can see that we just don't have a whole lot for the build, which is great for these videos. But this Shadow Mantle build with the strafe ability is insane. You see me just slicing through absolutely everything like, like butter, like butter. It's so crazy. This is a cold base build, guys. You're strafing. You actually kind of move pretty fast. I don't know if this is going to be like a speed build, but you are going to be able to just dominate the higher grs with this build i have it set to kind of be tanky but also move a little bit faster you could always go the like more hardcore eh, hardcore route and like build it to be a lot more tanky with elusive ring we're not running elusive ring which i know is crazy but it's kind of nuts we have a lot of like defense buffs right now with our wraps of clarity but look how insane we are just destroying everything right now. I mean, we are just, like, annihilating the entire GR. And rather quickly, too. This is a 90, guys. And we just don't have, like, any gear. And if you guys know Shadow Mantle in the past, the whole build, it's really good in the beginning of a new season where you use it to, like, level up, get to, you know the higher paragon levels and start to get stuff and when you get you know your god dh build or anything else you're just able to swap off it because the build just could not push the higher grs in any way but now this this build this build's going to push high grs high grs there's just no way it doesn't now this build can compete with the god dh oh we almost died and look at us destroy the Rift Guardian. Absolutely annihilate. You guys can see we're still using 25 ranked gems. Nothing's leveled up. We don't even have the right rolls on our gear, guys. We, just, we have one ancient item and then, of course, the, the ability. But let's just level up something so we can get out of here. We'll just do this. All right, guys. Two minutes and 38 seconds on a GR90 with relatively low gear, low paragon. But let's get into the build and everything that you guys are going to need um, to assemble this. Now, this is just a rough take. I kind of put it together real quick and just kind of, you know, did what we could do best. But you're going to need all six pieces of the Shadow the shadow Mantle build. You have to have this for all the increased damage. Impale deals 75,000% damage for each, you know, through the first enemy and then 25% or 1,000% after. So you need all six pieces of this. We're combining that with the Captain Crimson set for the reduced cooldown and resource cost. I opted in for the focus and restraint for just more damage. But as you guys can see, the build just already deals so much damage. You could probably just swap this out for like elusive ring and convention of elements or maybe something else for just more speed. And then, of course, squirts with double damage, which is really nice. Wraps of clarity for, of course, for your uh, damage reduction. And then you definitely have to have holy point shot for uh, three knives instead of just one. This is a must. And then, of course, Carly's point. And then the strafe ability, make sure you get this. It's the new ability with the angelic crack this season. So strafe is going to cast our, our last spent ability, which is going to be impale and thunderball. But you need both of these. So this is the build. This is all the gear that you guys need for it. 
Now into the Kanaya's Cube, I went with Dawn. Of course, we want to keep uh, Vengeance up for maximum damage reduction. Now I'm using Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan because your resource generation and damage is increased by 25% while moving. We're always going to be moving with Strafe. You're never going to be standing still for any reason or you shouldn't be. So the 20% decrease while standing still just isn't going to affect us. And then a Ring of Royal Grandeur for the six piece and the two piece set there. Into our skills, guys, we're going with Bola's Thunderball only for the increased hatred generation. Otherwise, we would opt in for the cold uh, because this entire build is just focused on cold damage. And then, of course, Strafe with uh, Drifting Shadow. Uh, shadow Power, you get every rune for Shadow Power, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. We're going to have all the runes for just like OP-ness, just overall overpowerness. I opted in for Companion, Wolf Companion for increased damage. Uh, Impale, you have to have. Uh, and then do over penetration so you just deal all the cold damage and just slice through multiple enemies it doesn't stop at the first one you're going to penetrate through all of the creatures that you're hitting with this and then of course vengeance for increased damage reduction and um increased damage while you're in there skills you could change these if you wanted to call of the week is really good it helps us proc our focus and restraint uh numbing traps for just decreased um damage from our enemies while we're kind of strafing around them and then uh, ambush, you deal 40% damage to increased or 40% increased damage to enemies over 75% health. And then tactical advantage, you could this is this one's tricky because you cast shadow power and it's always on, so you don't get the initial 60% movement speed unless you activate this again. So if you wanted, you could change um, tactical advantage for maybe hot pursuit for just overall um, increased movement speed because you're always going to be hitting an enemy um, you could do archery or you could swap out for awareness awareness is really good in this build um, i like tactical advantage because i activate this a lot but hot pursuit might actually be really good so those are the skills and passes for the build guys now this build has been absolutely insane the patch just hit so you know we're still kind of tweaking things but this build could be the best demon hunter build in the game in season 27 and it's a lot of fun as you guys can see we were just absolutely slaying that gr90 with just nothing gear no gems leveled up nothing this build is kind of insane now there's a lot of flexibility here for the build like i said guys in your kanai's cube and your passives so feel free to tinker with that but i wanted to push this out to you as quick as possible because this build is just hella fun i mean when you have an audience and they're just cheering you on because you're just slaying out it's pretty cool but that's the build guys let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about impale it's kind of crazy that this has jumped so high now because it used to be a b tier build but now it's, it's going to be an s with this ability on there it's just going to be an s tier build which is kind of crazy like rip to god dh but let me know down in the comments guys what do you guys think of the build drop a like if you guys did enjoy the build and subscribe if you're new here we've been pumping out content non-stop so thank you guys so much for all the support and as always stay gaming guys i'll catch you in the next one peace